Welcome chapter leaders. My name is Erin Dubek and I'm the chapter liaison for NAM. Please join me for this brief chapter leadership 101 recap of chapter ongoing practices and resources. This is the first of many NAN webinars planned for chapter education. Our first topic today is chapter annual report. Each chapter is required to fill out an annual report form online and to also submit a receipt of their 990N or 990 tax return on an annual basis. The annual report is listed on our chapter website at nan.org backslash chapters. The online report will ask for a number of required fields, including your chapter's EIN number, if you can't seem to locate your chapter's EIN number, please contact the IRS at 1-800-829-4933 to retrieve it. Um, the online form also requests the zip code ranges associated with your chapter. Um, once we have the appropriate zip codes on file, the national office can provide you with ongoing regular reports of your chapter's roster, so your chapter members, as well as prospect members within your region, so NAN members that have not joined your chapter yet. Um, the zip code information is a requirement for our chapter reporting, um, so it's highly important that you complete this. Um, to better help you in completing the zip code information, I listed a great resource on the slide, unitedstatesipcodes.org, and it can really help you generate those zip codes within your region. So I highly recommend navigating to that resource. Um, also on the annual report online form, we ask for your updated chapter board information. Um, without this updated chapter board roster, NAN is not able to communicate with your leadership on important updates and information affecting your chapter. So um, in order to receive these chapter rosters, to um, receive new chapter leadership resources, we really need updated information on file. Um, the chapter annual report online form will also request meeting and revenue information and a copy of your bylaws. In addition to the online form, we require a confirmation notification after filing your 990 tax return. If your gross receipts are less than $50,000, please select that box when you file the 990N online. Once your filing is complete, you will receive an email indicating the confirmation. Um, please forward that email to my attention as I will need that confirmation in order to be compliant. So again, the 990N can be completed online if your gross receipts are less than $50,000. Um, from there, you will receive a email confirmation once your online submission is complete and I would just need you to forward me that email. If your chapter's gross receipts are over $50,000, please submit a paper form of the 990 to the IRS. Um, so the 990 is a paper form found on irs.gov, um, and I would need a photocopy of the completed 990 to the national office at my attention, listed on the slide. So please send a photocopy of that to Aaron Duvick at 8735 West Higgins Road, Suite 300, Chicago, Illinois, 60631. Um, the annual report form will open in late January, early February of each year, and the deadline is May 15th. So we highly encourage all chapter leaders to complete their annual reports much earlier than the May 15th deadline. Um, so if there's any information that we had questions on, if there's something that seemed um, kind of off from your 990, we have time to resolve that. The next much more fun topic on our agenda today is the MyNAN Chapter Leadership Community. For all those that are unaware, MyNAN is an online community platform where members can connect and share resources. 
chapter leaders have a private designated community. So if you go to my.nan.org, you should be able to navigate to um, the chapter leadership community. Um, this is private to chapter leaders, and it is populated with those chapter board contacts indicated on the annual report form. Um, this is another reason why annual reporting and maintaining our chapter leadership rosters is so important. The chapter leader MyNan community houses chapter quarterly, chapter town hall meeting notes and recordings and includes many timely announcements specific to you as a chapter leader. So um, please make sure that you have access to this community. And if not, please email me at eduvik at nan.org and I can troubleshoot any issues for you. So um, the next topic we have on our agenda today is chapter member engagement and recruitment. Um, NAN has a variety of templates already created um, to help you when implementing your engagement and recruitment campaign. Um, you can access our member recruitment toolkit at nan.org backslash toolkit. Um, this will include a membership poster, a NAN membership presentation, which is really useful at your local chapter meetings. We highly recommend that you utilize this presentation. Um, and also it includes some chapter recruitment talking points. So um, there are a variety of tools listed on this page and we're constantly updating it. So um, there are many great resources already developed for, for you um, when you're going about um, trying to find some new chapter members within your region. New members and existing members can join a chapter. There's often some confusion with this. So if you're an existing NAN member and would like to add a chapter membership, you just need to go to nan.org backslash chapters. Um, and there's an orange button there that says add chapter membership. And from there, you should be able to see the screen on the left-hand side with a list of chapters. Um, if you are not logged in from at mine at nan.org, you will not be able to see the screen on the left. So when you do go to nan.org, make sure that you're logged into your account and then select the um, add chapter membership orange button from there. Um, I'll review the process at the end of the presentation as well to better clarify. Um, new chapter members, they will be prompted when joining NAN um, if they would like to join a chapter, and there will be a list of chapters with the associated chapter dues. Um, this will be during the chapter membership details portion of the um, membership online form. Many, if not all, chapter questions can be answered through our chapter leadership handbook. Um, this handbook is linked to the chapters page at the nan.org backslash chapters page and holds a plethora of information, whether it has to do with chapter governance, um, finances, chapter communications, how to find and retain volunteers. Um, there's some really great templates within this handbook, including you know, um, chapter meetings and just a variety of information. So I highly recommend navigating to that resource. Um, one reoccurring question we hear often is how to set up your chapter's direct deposit or um, banking information or how, what do you do when you change banks? Um, there is a direct deposit form listed on our nan.org backslash chapter site. Um, it's a very simple form. And you just need to complete that and send it to my attention, and we could get um, your chapter's banking information updated. Lastly, I would like to briefly review some of the links we discussed on the webinar and um, before we close out today. So let me first show you how to navigate to the chapter leadership community on MyNAN. So if you go to my .nan.org. You can see I'm already logged in. If not, there's a login button up here. Um, to my right hand 
by the Select Community. Um, the chapter leadership community should be listed under My Communities. If not, select All Communities, find the chapter leadership community, and click Join. So under My Communities, scroll down. There is a chapter leadership community. Here you can see the very many discussions we have going on, a library of resources, and the number of members we have within this community. So if you have any trouble joining the chapter leadership community, please feel free to email me at edubic at man.org, and I'd be happy to troubleshoot that for you. Um, so we can review now how existing NAM members can join a chapter. So if you go to NAM.org, now as you can see, I'm logged in. So in order to join a chapter, NAM members will need to be logged in into our website. So there will be a login button over here on the right-hand side, upper right-hand side. Um, here you would navigate to chapters. And then just select Add Chapter Membership. And as you can see here, a list of chapters will populate. Um, now I'm going to show you where to find that recruitment toolkit. So if you go to nan.org backslash toolkit, All of those resources and templates should be listed here. And then lastly, if we navigate to nan.org backslash chapters, scroll down, and at the very bottom of the page, you will see the chapter management resources, which will include webinars, like the one that we're hosting today. Um, that chapter leader handbook, the chapter annual report form is linked here, um, the direct deposit form, and a variety of other chapter management resources that are very useful to chapter leaders. Um, it's all linked here. All right, well, um, I hope you found this webinar useful. Um, that will conclude our presentation today. Um, thank you for joining me, and please feel free to reach out to me with any questions.